Hello everyone, my name is Brant Kudrowski and this organic chemistry video is going to cover factors that affect the SN1 reaction. The SN1 reaction is impacted by a number of different factors. When we studied the SN2 reaction, we looked at a variety of things from alkyl halide substitution to leaving group to solvent to nucleophile strength. We're going to do a parallel analysis here with the SN1 reaction. It contains an alkyl halide and the alkyl halide leaving group leaves in the first step, which is the slow step. That generates a carbocation intermediate. The nucleophile attacks the carbocation in the second step, and that's the fast step, to give substitution products. The two steps of the SN1 mechanism have different rates. The first step is the slow step, and the second step is the fast step. Anything that affects the rate of the first step, the slow step, will impact the rate of the overall reaction, while anything that impacts the second step, the fast step, won't affect the overall rate. The first factor that we'll look at is the substitution of the alkyl halide. In other words, are the R1, R2, and R3 groups hydrogens or carbon groups? The next factor that we'll look at is leaving group quality. How good of a leaving group is X? We'll also explore how solvent impacts the reaction. Notice that the nucleophile isn't in this list. Nucleophile doesn't affect the SN1 reaction because it isn't involved in the rate limiting step. The first factor that we'll look at is the substitution of the carbocation. There are several different kinds of carbocations. They're classified by substitution. There are methyl, primary, secondary, and tertiary carbocations that differ in the number of R groups attached. Primary has one, secondary has two, and tertiary has three R groups. They vary in stability based on these R groups. The less substituted are less stable, while the more substituted are more stable. Carbocation stability affects SN1 rate. The less substituted, less stable carbocations react slower, while the more substituted, more stable carbocations form faster. And this is opposite from how SN2 behaves. This highlights an important difference between SN1 and SN2 reaction mechanisms. In SN2, the nucleophile attacks in the rate limiting step, and steric hindrance is an important factor. However, in the SN1 mechanism, it's all about carbocation stability because carbocation stability impacts the rate determining step. Next, we'll look at the effect of leaving group. The leaving group leaves in the rate determining step. Therefore, leaving group affects the SN1 rate. A good leaving group like chloride, bromide, or iodide is needed. These all leave as weak bases. Cl minus, Br minus, and I minus are all weak bases. If you'd like to learn more about good and bad leaving groups, check out my SN2 substitution video covering leaving group in that reaction. Solvent also impacts the SN1 reaction rate. Here's the mechanism again where the leaving group leaves in the first step, the nucleophile attacks in the second step. The carbocation intermediate is very polar. There's a positively charged carbon and a negatively charged anion. Polar protic solvents, which contain OH or NH, are better at solving carbocations than polar aprotic. This better solvation makes carbocations more stable, and that stability helps them form faster.